Hey there, everyone, I'm PokeFan08, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny bonus episodes. Last time, we went over the final moves for the characters that I didn't use much, and we also took a look at the sound test. And today, we are gonna see this game's bad ending. Yeah, this game actually got a bad ending. That is kinda cool, actually. <laughs> And of course, I also want to say I'm sorry that it took so long, but I had to work the entire week and Well, I also had to do a bit of grinding, I guess I can say But anyway, so what do we have to do to get this game's bad ending? I mean, do we have to lose to Kronos or something? Not exactly My levels are now 13 Yeah, 13 that doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> oh man, yeah. To get the bad ending, as you see, we are in Harmons. You might not be able to see that, but we are in Harmons now. We just gave the old cane to Walt. So what you need to do to get the bad ending is defeat Leon in the beginning of the game. Remember that I said that you are you're supposed to lose the battle, but that doesn't mean that you can't win. And that's what I meant with that, <laughs> all the way back then. <laughs> so today, we are going to defeat Leon in the beginning of the game. But before we go though, I want to go over some stuff. You see, of course, as I said, I'm level 13. And the reason for that is that Stan learns Firewall at level 13. And that spell is going to be your main damage dealer, because it is very good this early in the game. And while you go and get Firewall, Rudy will also... There we go. Rudy will also learn Deep Mist, Ice Tornado, and Acid Rain, which will also help quite a lot. And uh, Mary should have Double Blade. That is going to be her main attack in the battle. Also, make sure you have 15 of every healing item that you can. But most importantly, make sure you have 15 energy bullets. You can actually go to Derishid and get all the all those stuffs actually, so uh, that's that shouldn't be a problem while you are grinding up to level 13. I also got an elixir and an hourglass and a little bit of stuff like that from the warehouse. They're gonna help a lot too. And of of course also make sure you have the best uh, equipment for every character that you can get. Very very important. But that's it. So let's see if we can actually do this. I'm a little bit nervous. This is hard as hell, but yeah, let's go. Of course, um, you might be, you probably saw that my timer is at 5 hours and 30 minutes. That is, of course, because when you level grind, you have to do it on the world map. Because you can't go anywhere where you can actually get a decent chunk of experience. Like, yeah, the forest before the... There before the Estrellas Temple. No, they will actually stop you. So you have to do your level grinding on the world map. And the best experience you'll get there is 34. And uh, leveling up to level 13, where you need to get at least 2,000 experience to level up, and your max uh, maximum experience gain is 34. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just gonna ignore this battle, and I'm gonna meet you guys back at... Well, when Leon pops up. And pop. <laughs> okay, that was bad. Oh boy. Hey, Leon. Back to life, I see. Or you haven't died yet, but... Hey, Leon. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Uh, are we actually ready for this? I hope so, because there's no turning back. Yes, I'm dragging this out, because there's a little bit more text there than I thought. Yeah, I'm doing this again. So what? <laughs> this time we're actually gonna win this fight. So, uh, how about we have a little bit more epic music? Not that this theme isn't epic enough, but uh, I think it's time to start the remixes. Oh yeah. In my opinion, this song just got better with age. <laughs> Anyway, so my strategy for this fight is make Mary spam Dual Blade on him. You want Mary to stop him from getting to Stan and Rudy, because they will be casting spells. Rudy should be casting Deep Mist, Acid Rain, and Ice Tornado. 
while Stan is spamming Firewall's up Leon's ass. Firewall will do around 400 damage, Ice Tornado up to 200, and I don't really care about Double Blade. The important part is that she pushes Leon back. And really, that's the entire fight. Well, almost. Because at the end, Leon will be a little bit of a douche, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Right now though, yeah, as I said, this fight is very menu heavy, but really you have to since you don't really have many shortcuts you can use in this fight. You can also make uh, Rudy run up to him and help Mary with the uh, stalling, and you are the only one casting spells, but in my opinion that takes a little bit too long. And also, the one party member that doesn't do anything, like let's say Stan is in the middle of casting spells, he should be the one healing with items, which is why you of course want to get as many items as possible. I forgot to turn off Rudy's first aid in this fight, but really it didn't ruin the fight too much for me. I still won. Yeah, spoilers, I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there is a lot of different strategies you can use. But this is the one that I found that worked, worked best. Of course, you can also use a Flare Bottle on Mary, but I completely forgot about that. I was so caught up in the fight with the casting spells and just you know, dual blade, dual blade, dual blade, so I, I completely forgot. And if Leon gets too close to you, you should either use the Energy Bullet or you can use a... Um, the hourglass that you get from the warehouse in Dairy Sheet, it is very helpful. You also have Miracle Gels from the warehouses, so... Really, this fight, though it's hard, if you, got a good, if you get a good rhythm going, like I do right now, it's really not that bad, to be honest. It's just... For the, fir the first time you try it, you will probably be a little bit overwhelmed, because there's a lot of things you need to be careful about. Like, even though I'm level 13, all my characters got over a thousand HP, if I let Leon get too close, he will still kick my ass. Easily. He still does over a hundred damage with his single attack. He can... Yeah. <laughs> he still hurts like a mother, but... Uh, just hold him back and you should be fine. And you don't really need to level up to uh, level 13 either. You can do this battle while casting Eruption instead of Firewall, but it takes a little bit too long for my taste. Eruption will do around 200 to 300 damage, which sure it isn't bad, but yeah, it just gives Leon more time to come close to the party in my opinion. And of course you can also level up even more if you so want to, but I just got so tired of grinding, I just wanted it to end. <laughs> it took so long. But anyway, I think this is where my heart went off my throat. Yeah, exactly. Leon got way too close. And not only that, he managed to stun Mary. So, what I did here... Rudy wanted to be a champ. Okay, that's fine. And I messed up my menus a little bit. So I ended up using a hourglass. Or the hourglass. And for some reason, Mary stayed stunned for way too long. I started to get incredibly nervous here, and if you haven't noticed by now, yes, this is indeed most commentary. <laughs> if I actually did commentary while doing this fight, I would probably be quiet for most of the battle, because I was concentrating a lot during this battle. <laughs> anyway though, Mary got back, and she started spamming Dual Blade even more, so we are now fine. We are at the ending stretch, I think. I just wish that I would be able to actually look at the remaining HP that Leon got, but without actually using a, another spectacle. But uh, that's not until the later games. God, I missed that though in the, in the uh, earlier games, that you can't just press a button and see how much HP a monster got, even though you already used a uh, spectacle on them. Really wish they would do that back in the day too, but I guess not. But Leon is getting pretty close to death here, so uh, he will probably start using his uh, <clears throat> ultimate attack pretty soon. Which is a perfect run breaker for you. I'm not even kidding, seriously, that move 
is going to destroy you if you are in a... if you're crowded together. I don't even know how many times that attack actually ruined this fight for me. I was doing so good and then he just started spamming it and I died. Over and over and over again. But uh, what attack is that you might ask? Well, if Leon could just get to using it soon, that would be nice. Yes, not though, since I completely messed up the timing here. <laughs> I shouldn't have said this. But when Leon is under 3000 HP, it's time for you to start using your energy bullets. They will do around 200 to 300 damage. Oh, here we go. Yep, a demon attack is of course Leon's ultimate attack. And the thing with demon attack, it got insane rage. In the later battles, you just thought demon attack. Oh, that's cute. In this battle, demon attack will kill you. It's not that it does, it does that much damage. Well, it does, but it's probably not going to kill you instantly. The thing with demon attack is that it will stun every character it hits. And if Leon actually hits everyone and stuns everyone... Well, let's just say that Leon and Chaltier will have a field trip in your face. You will die, and oh god, he got close again. Not cool! <laughs> And he jumped over the entry bullet too, that's huge, such a waste, I didn't like that at all. Thankfully though, when you use an item, you will get invincibility frames, so uh, Leon can't be, Leon can't stop you from using entry bullets, thank god. And apparently I can't use a spectacle either, that was a little bit funny actually, Mary was just standing there trying to use a spectacle. But she can't do it because the energy bullet is interrupting her. <laughs> Since the energy bullet takes priority over pretty much anything else. <laughs> but uh, really, we are pretty much at the end here. Let's see. Can you use it, Mary? Oh! She got an energy bullet too. Oh, right, the one that I got her to use when she. Uh, when Leon first used the attack. <laughs> poor, poor Mary. She just didn't. She just wanted to help, but nope, she wasn't able to. But with that, Leon is down 9,999 HP later, and the fight is over. So let's watch this super secret awesome bad ending of ours, shall we, with not the right music. Hey, you brag about yourself, but you're really helpless. Do we have to fight all these soldiers? Don't I have a choice? No, you do not, Stan. You poor bastard. What's your problem, Mr. Gloom and Doom? If we stick together, nothing can stop us. I guess. But, but I don't... Oh. Can't you see there's no turning back now? Let's get crazy! But... but <laughs> man's crying too, actually. And... That's it. Stan and the others defeated the Senegaldian soldiers and finished off the Master Swordsman, Leon Magnus. The three went on to take their place in history as an infamous gang of lens hunters who roamed the four corners of the world. But that's another story. So are we gonna be able to see that story or are we just gonna get booted back to the title screen? Yep, that was it. That was the bad ending. Totally worth it, right? Yeah! Namco, you trolls. <laughs> Okay, let's put some music back on, there we go. And, yeah, so uh, what do you think about the so-called bad ending? It's bad, oh yes, it is very, very bad. <laughs> I guess the bad part is that you don't get to play the game anymore. And just so you know, yeah, you just killed Leon again. That poor bastard just can't catch a break. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh about that though, but... I really feel sorry for him, I will, <laughs> that is for sure. But, uh, what next? Is there anything more that I want to show before I end this series off completely? Well, yes, there are actually two more things that I have planned before I end this off. And the first thing is something that I actually uh, been wanting to show since the very beginning, but I completely forgot. And that is the kick attack. No, not the move kick attack. The kick attack. 
which is a move that every character got from the moment they joined the party. But I completely forgot about it because I feel that it is completely freaking pointless. So let's go back to my main file and let me show you prob what is probably the most pointless thing in the entire game. I say that because it is very hard to actually use. So let's fight a battle. So let's see, I want everyone to don't do a thing. Okay, so the kick attack, the way you use it is you need to have at least 95% of your max HP. Yeah, that's probably the worst part of it. And then you need to guard and press the circle button. And you will do a kick. That will push the enemy back a lot. We aren't able to see that here because Stan is very strong on my side, but uh, the kick attack is completely useless. Or it might be a little bit helpful in the beginning of the game, you know, before you get force or hell before you actually get the real kick attack because that thing pushes enemies back too, but I never found a use for the kick attack. It's just... The fact you need to have almost full HP to use it, and you need to be completely up in the enemy's face, and that the animation for the kick is very, very slow. I just don't get what they were thinking with it. And the fact that it's so well hidden too, I don't even think they mention it in the manual of the game. I just... No. I think it's completely useless, and that's why I never showed it. I completely forgot, because I, <laughs> I never use it, ever. But with that out of the way, I feel that we shouldn't end this off on two pretty negative notes like this. You know, Leon dying again, and me showing off a move that I completely hate, because it's so freaking useless. So, let's end this off with a bang, literally. So, uh... How about we have a little uh, rematch against Kronos? Because I feel that it's the most fitting place in the game to show off the final thing that I have to show off. And now, the final thing that I have to show in this entire game is... All the summons! Yes, I know some of you have been waiting for this, so let's do this! First of all, let's start with the Sylph summon. <laughs> I think we... no, I don't think... no, we haven't seen this one, actually. And yes, this is pretty much all I'm gonna do in, in this entire battle. Gar, can you please summon Undini for us? I know this is stupid, but... eh. Oh, it looks nice. That was weird. But uh, I feel that we should use some pretty flashy spells, too. Just not the summons. So, let's use Meteor Storm. Let's use Big Bang. And I forgot to put John in my party, but oh well. Next is Volt. No, that's Ramu. I said Volt. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know why they did that there, but oh well. Next is No. Pac-Man Ghosts? Okay. I see, I see. <laughs> Next is Valkyrie. Yeah, remember we got this thing out of the um, developer's office? It's actually a summon item, so... Let's summon the Valkyrie! Yeah. It's the same Valkyrie from the uh, Legend of Valkyrie series, also made by Namco. It's also the same Valkyrie that kicked my ass in Tales of Eternia. <laughs> and finally, it's time to unleash all the rage. All the pain. Everything. And it's all gonna be in your face, Ultra Kronos. For the first time for me, and maybe also for some of you, let's summon Luna. Oh, so cute! Holy crap! 
okay. I wish I'd used that one earlier. That was awesome. <laughs> like a Mega Flare from Bahamut in, in the Final Fantasy series combined with Kamehameha. God, that was cool. <laughs> okay, well, I'm very happy that I actually got that summon. That was incredibly cool. <laughs> oh man. And yeah, I know I didn't summon Ifrit because I haven't gotten a Ifrit summoning item back after the uh, Beast Meat Supreme. Thank you, Mary. Thank you for wasting my Ifrits. Thank you so much. <laughs> but with that, we've seen all the summons against Kronos. So there's really no point in me showing the rest of this battle now. I think you pretty much understand what the rest of the battle is. It's Big Bang, Meteor Storm, God's Breath, and... Uh, or... Air Slash, sorry. <laughs> and... Uh, Stan just whacking him with his, with his sword. He didn't use his... Uh, Dao's Laser one to be moved this time either, so... Really? I think I'm actually gonna just cut out of this battle because... Uh, I think it's time we end this game off, once and for all. I think this is a pretty fitting place to end this off. Tales of Eternia, I ended off the project in the beginning village. And this time, I think it's fitting that we end it off in Stan's home. So, that's it guys. Tales of Destiny is now over. There isn't anything more for me to show you. I am not level grinding up to level 75, I can tell you that much right now. <laughs> so, uh, I put together a little ending here, so uh, I'm just gonna say I'm Palky Fanoite. I thank you all oh so much for watching once again. It's been a blast. It's been a lot of fun. And there's also been some annoyances, but that's really common for me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Sit back and enjoy the amazing music of Dean. The, which is also the Japanese intro. This is like a dream. Take care, and I see you all later. Yeah.